Crunker. Okay, we're good now. Um, Crunker, so go. before we start, introduce yourself. What's your name? What's your peak? Why are you here today? Hey guys, I'm Magia. I'm a 3400 peak support. Uh, my team recently just made it to grand finals. I want to be super ready uh, for the tournament we're playing, and I want to win. I want to get better. Um, yeah, that's about all. And when is that game? Thursday. Uh, is there a Twitch link for that? Yes. Should just put it down below. I'll just put it down below. Thursday at what time? Uh, Thursday at 7 p.m. CST. So that's 8 p.m. EST. Dude, that'll be that'll be out in terms for the video, and we'll see if he wins. Honestly, I don't know. All right, but um, you said positioning this game. Yeah. I mean, your comp honestly is really good for brawl. Maybe not for the map. But for Brawl, it's a good comp. So, I mean, at least it kind of agrees there. Um, you're saying positioning. All right. I'll see if there's another tendency that I see that's a little bit more important that you focus. Um, but I, I'll definitely take into account positioning here. But let's go. 22-minute long game. Not sure if I'm going to get through all of it, but that's okay. That's fine. Okay. Just walking through team. Rhyme. All right, so never mind. We'll just keep going. Good ammo. Trying to get out, I'm getting shielded. It's good. Okay. Definitely could have hit a better shot there, but it's okay. Reloading. Okay. Right clicks. You're fine. You're chilling. Your positioning's fine. Okay. Left click. Um. Yeah. We're doing fine. It's not the best positioning. Not the worst. Immo that, immo that. Okay, probably shouldn't immo there. Cause you're trying to 1v1. Okay. Okay. Just waiting to see when this fight's over. Your aim isn't bad. Okay, um. Wait. And, okay. So, the big thing I saw there is before the fight even started, you used all 12 nades on the Rhine and then you reloaded when he was pushing when you quite frankly didn't need to heal any of this and against a better team uh you guys lose that every time i mean your Rhine died and it wasn't really because you missed a shot it was really because you used 12 nades in rotation here to heal or how much is it 10 in a mag i think yeah, yeah, 10. So you use... It might have been 12 or earlier. I don't know what I'm... Oh, it's probably honest. I don't know. Um, but you use 10 nades in rotation here. And then when you got here and your Ryan wanted to be aggressive, your team couldn't be aggressive because you used all of your healing resource. And then ultimately your Ryan died. Um, your positioning could have been a little bit better. Um, like, for example, if the Genji's trying to push at you, you could just hold this corner right here and force him in. Uh, what you did instead was you tried to push out and the thing is if this is pushing out is fine but then your team also has to be aggressive and your team wasn't being aggressive okay. so playing around the corner is probably a lot better and waiting until your team engages i mean if it was in a team scenario you could be like yo guys push like i need space to kite out this genji but you did have enough health i think that you could have held this corner but it, it, that's very nick picky i think the big big thing to look in that fight was just that you used all of your resources in rotation instead of the actual fight because you know it does well aside from the new patch notes that are coming out that really isn't going to change anything you're just going to be playing bap still uh at least i think um it's 60 a burst um doesn't matter what it hits or anything in the current patch so like even if they're taking like they have like 30 health that needs healed i would still wait until it's just one burst right here on everyone in this really tight corridor and then you push i'm sure that makes sense yeah um that's something that i even do so it's not like you're a shitty player because you didn't pick it up, but you guys did ultimately win the fight. Let's keep going. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm assuming you're communicating to your team that you're not there to heal. Yeah, yeah. Our Ryan just kept playing aggressive. So. I mean, that's I fine as long as he doesn't die. Normally we'd put Lucy on payload, but I wanted him to build beat a little bit quicker. So. I think speed's fine against the brawl brawl matchup. Because if they speed on you, you're gonna die anyways. It really depends on the situation. So 
I'm, you have a lot of alts here. I'm assuming you're going to be looking for a window here. So, yeah, I mean, like, the problem is, is that hmm, you're not really in the fight because your team's kind of pushed a little bit too far. Like, your team should really be looking to take the fight on this corner here and not up here. Um... Honestly, in this situation, you probably should just get off the cart and try to win the fight, which I assume is what you do. Uh, I think coming to your team like, hey, my LOS is only going to make this corner here. Uh, then they won't take the fight that close, especially when they just coomed. Like, you should just back up. It was a bad coom, but uh, your tank's pushed up. Uh, as a support, you can see things that other people can't. So being communicative and like telling people what's going on is really important here. I mean, it's just very sloppy because the fight started bad. Okay, yeah, um, I'd be looking for more damage here, honestly. I like, I would just left shift and damage, especially if he just stunned a Zarya. That's like a free triple burst. You're a little tunnel visioned on the heels. Um, cause you still have your left shift, you see that? Yeah. I, assuming that's what you have it bound to. Cause like he stuns there, and then you immediately like, right when he stunned you looked down to heal, when in reality you could have just done some damage, weaved in some damage, and then even left shifted or just right clicked, but you missed out on some damage. Again, very nitpicky, but I wanted to point it out. Um... Okay, it's a good beat. Okay, you're looking for Ditton. So here's the thing. Um, in theory, they can take enough damage through beat that they need heals. Um, I I actually went through this with my coach like a few months ago. If you have like a trans or a beat up, like immediately you should just be focusing like anything damage related that you can do. Cause like you kind of hesitated a little bit, like you wanted to damage. And then you, you were really aggressive too, which I mean, is totally fine. I think your team should have been a little aggressive. Let's see here though. Let's take it a little, a little slow whenever you beat. Cause this is also gonna help your positioning. All right, so you're reloading, which I mean, that's fine. Um, so here's the thing. The right idea is to be aggressive. You don't have your Rhine though. Um, yeah, this is just really on your Zari for not beating. Oh, it's really on your Lucio too for beating in a bad spot. Um, the problem is that you're really aggressive and your Zari isn't. So let's take it from this actual point of view because your Zari isn't pushing. The moment you see your Zari not pushing too, you kind of got to back up. I don't know. That's this is a really hard part. Like, it's really hard for me to coach this because like, you don't have your Rhine. The beat was bad. Yeah, I probably would have just played. Like, here's the thing: the whole thing with damage still holds here. I'm just looking positionally here. Like, you do get out. It's just like, what's your Zarya doing? Why isn't she pushing forward? Yeah, I'm not really gonna look too much into that. Cause like that's that's like just a an understanding thing from your Lucio and your Zarya that like once you hear beat. Like, once you beat, you need to be aggressive, or you just need to get out, and it was a bad beat. But you guys just kind of stood there. Again, if no one's saying anything, I would say that you can say it. I mean, you did get out eventually. The only thing I can really say nitpicky for there, actually, though, is the damage. Then your Ryan gets back, you guys are here. I would... Selfish Window's not... Let's take it back. Selfish Window's not bad. Here's the, here, here's the thing though I want to see your movement and why this might have gotten you killed yeah, yeah. you kind of stood still for a little, yeah a really long time um, if you're going to self window you got to be strafing because everyone's going to be looking at you unless it's like you know no one's looking at you like you see that where you're putting this window it's in a very exposed spot yeah um I agree that like the window needed to be used and like if you wanted to kill the Genji, it's very aggressive, but it still is okay. Um, what I was thinking rather was just like, hey, everyone just group up for a new fight and just window here, to push them back and then you take this space. Still a fine window. I just think, I don't think it's as much positioning as it is movement, right? At least in that situation. 
I mean, I don't know what Dirty Bomb's movement style stuff is, but movement needs to be abused in games like Apex and Overwatch. And if you're struggling in those games, a lot of it actually is an aim, it's movement. Um, not saying you are struggling, just, you know. Fully healed. Mm. I do what I must. It's not awful. Could be better. Let's keep it going, though. Do the healing thing again, which I shut up. Like, here's the thing. This is a tendency that everyone has because of ladder and people being like, I need healing. I need healing. And it's yeah. like, you got to limit test eventually. I just not give a fuck. I mean, it's diamonds. No one's going to remember this. Um... Yeah, like, you could focus on the healing thing. I'm not really focusing on it right now because there's more important things to look at. Um, okay, I like that. It's a good MO. Um, it's, I, I mean, certainly you could have put it under cover, maybe, but the thing is, is that it's kind of an emergency because your tanks are out of position. Still the right idea on the MO. That was good. All right, you're right-clicking. Cool. Now that your tanks are full, you should be taking this corner and just looking for damage. But you're still really tunnel-visioning and healing, and it's really hurting you. Like, yeah, like now, this this is what should have happened a while ago behind your Rhine shield. It's a little aggressive what you're doing. That was good. Okay. Yep, that's fine. You didn't have ammo. You're looking up now. You're healing your Rhine. Okay. Okay. Gonna have to pull out the epic pen. Gonna have to pull out the epic pen. Uh, borderless went dead. Good. Wait, you're gonna have to watch stream for this. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I both pulled up. Epic. Okay, come on. Epic pen. <laughs> it's chicken parm night. I can't wait. Okay, let's see. Um, so here's the thing, right? In brawl, this will help you in terms of positioning. I really don't think positioning is as big of a problem as you think it is. I think it's more movement. Um. You know the I you've watched football, yes. I have done this uh, so many times. Much, yeah. Yes. So I'm just gonna since you already understand the idea and a lot of people already understand the idea that watch my stuff. While the line of scrimmage looks like it's here, it's really here. Uh the this this one. Like this is just one guy, and then this is the rest of their team. All back here. You don't see them, but they're all back there. So like maybe while your team here, let me let me delete all this stuff. While your team's pushing here to get a straggler, you kind of have to like play back here and wait for them to then rotate through here again. You kind of have to wait because you're not with them 100%. Uh, and this is kind of on your tank still, but like this is gonna happen in GM too, where you just have to be like, okay, like we're not coordinated enough. I need to stay back and just heal them from afar. Because if you do push them or push through here, like you're gonna get killed by everyone that's pushing through there. That that makes sense. I know it's a lot of arrows, but that kind of makes sense of what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just gotta be really careful of that kind of stuff in terms of rotations. Like I don't like I don't think your positioning is awful. I th I think it's a lot of just very small things that then become a big thing. Um, but let's I digress because I doubt you get punished for it. Oh, you do. Yeah. I mean, not a not necessary punishment since they're probably still going to lose the fight. Actually, no, they might have just beaten you guys. I don't know. Uh, but imagine imagine if you didn't go with your team and you chilled back here. Then that shatter would never have happened and you would have had an immo and no one would have died. Um, but let's skip ahead. You guys ultimately do get it. Uh, whatever. Keep going. Also, if anyone in chat has any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer things. Okay, so you have a window. I'm assuming you're thinking using the window on this corner to take space. Yep. Okay. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so you already have this corner, but I'm okay with the window because low Rhine shield definitely can clean up this, these kills, which you ultimately kill the Rhine. Zari is staggering really hard. You understand that. Um, mm, not gonna, not gonna touch on that. It's fine. Um, again, line of scrimmage. You have to know where they're coming from. Okay. 
Just because your team's pushing this guy does not mean that you jumping over here isn't going to get you killed from the Hanzo. So instead of jumping in the open here, if you really want to jump up, you can jump up from he like over here. I would just wait for your team. I don't think you really need to be jumping there in the first place. I, But I'm not going to hard ma micro coach that. Yeah. Ultimately, you die because... Okay, you die from unlucky turret, but like still, that could have been mitigated. Yeah. And that could have been avoided entirely by not peeking them down main. Um, so let's keep it going. All right, Urine is not... Oh, that's unlucky. Right idea, unlucky, not going to coach that. Whatever, next fight. Because I doubt anything happens. Wait, what? Okay. What the fuck happened here? They, they kind of walked at our spawn. Okay, I mean, uh, whatever. I'm not going to coach that. It's not really good. Okay, that was a good left shift. Uh, I wouldn't emo. Mm. No, I'm okay with an emo there. It doesn't really matter. You keep everyone alive and you get a window off of it. Whatever. Okay, uh, why are you still peeking, though? Uh... Because I'm aggressive and I want to die, apparently. Yeah, I mean, that's a little sus, bro. Oh, shit. Hold up. New moment Okay, okay, okay. That's odd. Okay, I think I'm good. Sorry. So, like... Yeah. Dude, even if you're a ZPS, you can't do that. Like, you're gonna... Like, if that Hanzo is any decent, he would've fucking killed you already, you know? Mm-hmm. Um... Overstaying your welcome, or whatever... Whatever the saying is, that's kind of what you're doing here. I, I don't know if that helps you at all. Visualize it in your brain. But, uh... Yeah. Definitely should've died there, but... Sorry, what? I mean, makes sense. I'm understanding what you're saying. Yeah, like, your life matters more than you getting an extra 50 damage when you all also already have ult. Yeah. All better. You're just Jay chilling, okay. Wide swinging, okay. you're you're thinking about it. You're still, yeah, you're still thinking about it, but you're stopping yourself, okay. That's a sign of improvement. Uh, you didn't need the left shift, but that whatever. Go next, I'll work on that another day again it's just like you're wide swinging really hard and you're just not giving a fuck that the hanzo's there like i would at least pressure him out before you do that i mean it, like you can still do this but I'd, I'd at least like look at him and pressure him out because like i know it doesn't look like you were now but you you were like here when your reinhardt was where the, your window was for a second make sure that yep. you're I understand that this Ryan isn't the best, and he's not, like, a super or whatever great Reinhardt you think there is. Um, that's a, more of a, def of a defensive Reinhardt. You don't really see a lot of those. Um, but you got to play with what you have and, like, kind of abuse it. Um, at least in ladder. Because, like, you're still kind of, like, lingering around. If that Hanzo, which he really should still be peeking, since your Hanzo's, like, one... Um, he really should still be aggressively peeking that. Um, you gotta be careful of it. Because you can take this Hanzo. Like, as Bap, you have the aim to take him. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when you can just abuse the shield. Like, you can literally just go like, ha ha, can't shoot me because it's a curved shield. It's not flat. Um, but yeah, let's keep it going anyways. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Okay, um, there's a dragon. I really hope you don't ammo this. I hope you look at your Rhine. Cool. That's fine. I don't like the jumps, but it's whatever. I'm not, it, it's a little sloppy, but it's fine. Omaki, good beat, though. Okay, um... What happened there? Uh, I thought I could save the line. Wait, but let's see. My question is, like, why... Okay. I mean, it's a good idea. It's like, I just don't know why you flick right... It just like when I look at other people play, it just like it, I look at it, and it, like it makes me feel like they're just not aware. Mm -hmm. Like I just feel like you could, you could quick flick to the right, but that's like really picky. I need to, I need to really sit down, and just think about how, what I mean by that because I don't think I'm articulating it right. So we're just gonna keep going. Again, line of scrimmage. Again, let's draw it out again. Um, 
although your team is here and you're like here the line of scrimmage is still here because that is where they are while your line of, well your line of scrimmage is like like here when it really should be here where you're at the thing is is like you you rotating over to them is just not going to happen you need a backup because here's another thing that can happen if you're really split you can really take advantage of a team that's dumb because let me let me delete all of this if your team's here and their team decides to just try to hard push you here your entire team just gets to fire at their back so while it's not optimal you can make it something optimal you can trick them into thinking, oh, we have Ko. We can just push and kill everyone by just going through main like this. Meanwhile, your Hanzo and Torb just go... Grrr, grrr, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I mean, again, line of scrimmage idea is really going to help you with the positioning thing because I don't really think it's... I think it's more rotational than it is where you're starting. Okay. I think you have the right idea of where you need to be, but not where you need to be three seconds... Uh, later uh let's keep it going though um i, I like you should have gotten punished for it you didn't whatever go next unless you drop see like dude your aim isn't bad like this is good good enough to aim to be like gm flex support okay I, I like the damage idea more damn uh, well need healing okay healing better movement really than just bad. staying crouched yeah let's keep going okay it's fine lamp gotta tell your team to back up but not into the coon um like it's just very aggressive. Like, that is very aggressive when you're Ryan's crit and you're just windowing. But it is the end of the game, so it's like, just kill and we'll be fine. Team, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Playing with team, very cool. Alright, you're backing off. Good pick. Okay. Um, yeah, Why you're fine. You much? Or am I doing that? I little? mean, like, yeah, but the thing is, I'm not focusing on it in this VOD because I'm more focused on, like, very basic things of rotation or um, just, like, windows and stuff. Like, th it's not getting you punished. But, like, it's not, here's the thing. It's not like when you're in rotation, you're jumping like a bunny rabbit. Yeah. Like, I think a jump here is okay if their widow's not peeking main, which they're not. They're all in one thing. Like, you're kind of getting cover from up top, but... I'm not gonna sell, like it's whatever like here though The thing is is that you're not like bobbing and weaving out of this corner like you would in like Val or something Or you're not playing this corner here or this cover here. You're kind of just like Hey guys, I'm BAP. I'm here. I'm better than you because I think I can aim better than you, but Ultimately you're on Widow and I'm on BAP. So I just lose Like yeah. while maybe your aim is good enough to challenge on like a DPS character you really should be like playing the cover as much as possible, especially when you have downtime. Even if it's like a split second of downtime, just jiggle peek or just get a different angle farther back. The thing is, is that you're kind of just peeking them here. Um, it's very slight, but. You all look like you needed to okay. I'd be. Yep, you're helping you, Lucio. That's cool. Aim. Yeah, your left click aim is fine. Helping you torb. Okay, I like the left. Yep, left shift's good for when you're transitioning rotation. What's up? Hey, what's up, Baymax? Hey, what's up, Epic Smurf? If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, let's keep it going. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary here. I think you should be poking, though, with your Ryan to get some lamp. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't see that. You saw it and I didn't. Whatever. Okay, we're left clicking the... Yep, that's... Okay, uh, yeah. I ignored the widow too much. So... No, it's not even that you ignored the widow. You just kind of you like you just shoot things when you're standing still. Like, did you play CS before uh, yeah. this? That that that's kind of what I'm seeing out of this. You need to move. You better move. You better move. You better move. You better move. There's no recoil. You know this. I don't need to lecture yeah. you on this, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So like, movement is your best friend. 
you like I think maybe you're possibly saying my I only know how to aim when standing still, so I have to compensate by standing still or something, you know? Maybe that's something in your mind? I don't know. You got to tell me that kind of stuff. I can't read minds over the internet. I, I just played CSGO, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I've been playing CSGO and Valorant. So, like, here's the thing. You don't see a Widow, which is cool, but now you see the Widow here. You're tunnel visioned on Azaria. I just feel like you should be getting in the habit of just, like... Oh, you're, are you watching stream? Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching. Grr. Grr. Instead of Oh man, I'm hitting all my Seriously thing, if you die from a widow from getting domed, you missed out like sure, sure, you hit 15 grts, but you missed out on like another like 120 grts. Sure you might not hit as many when you're going But the thing is is that you're like you're living and then you can do more. Yeah. Diamond tank three accounts, kind of pog. Good for you, man. Pog, freaking champ, dude. Yeah, but then you. Oh, here. Hold up. Ah! Holy shit. Let's watch him. Ugh. Holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, he did not like that. Fuck. All right, let's move on. <laughs> no more content. Only, only coaching. You're not allowed to have fun. Okay, so honestly, that Zarya or no, that Ash is kind of a lost cause. Uh, you need to jump and get on. Like, here's the thing with Bap, you want to be on the same level of whoever you're healing. It's a lot easier that way. Um, I would have just jumped immediately. Thing is, there is a widow up there. It's either like you jump and you try to like kill the widow, or at least pressure her so she doesn't fuck you up, and then you heal the ash, or you just say fuck the ash, fuck the free world. I'm killing Zarya. Um, I'm nitpicking super hard, but like whatever. Yeah. Okay. Definitely could have. I think just jumping there and trying to heal the ash is your best bet. But you did what you had or what you could have. So. Okay, we're left clicking. That's, that's yep. yep. Ooh, that, that jumps really aggressive against a widow. It's just like they have a widow, so you have to be a yeah. little more yeah, I conservative. Think I catch that, and I start you know, actually using my noggin to not do that. Uh, really aggressive. Um, this is fine if your Ryan is pushing, but your Ryan is not. So you need to tell your Ryan to do that. Cause what's your Ryan doing? Ooh, Zarya. Uh, that's actually fine too. I don't think he knows the Zarya is there though. Does he? No, he doesn't. He wasn't in voice chat the entire game, so like. See, like now he's being aggressive. Mm, I don't like that window. We're gonna go over that. Yep. Ooh, man, that window is a little yikers. Not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. All right. Left clicks. Left click, Andy. Left click, Andy. You're you're kill okay. Like this is fine. I think you're Ryan. Like, dude, if you see a Ryan this far and his Lucio is back there. Like, your team should just go, bang, kill that motherfucker. Or if they see the Zarya flanking, bang, kill the Zarya. But they didn't do any of that. The Ryan's just like, oh. Okay. I just, mm, this window, like, I just don't think you need. Because here's the thing. Imagine you keep pushing this Reinhardt, and then you window this lane here. Like, that's better, right? You get so much more. There's a lot more sight lines, Yeah. And like the thing is, is this is very easily kiteable if their team is good. Cause like they're it's not even like the payloads on this so that they have to back up. Like it's like you already have all this space that you're taking with the window. Meanwhile, like here, you just win. Also, I just don't think you need the window when the Ryan's throwing that fucking hard. I think you guys honestly kill this guy. You're gonna kill him probably before he gets around the corner, because the shield's low. But like honestly. Nah, you don't. But then you guys don't even push? Because Azaria kills. And no one even knows. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely your movement needs some work. But, like, dude. That was, like, your aim isn't even bad. Like, you can definitely just move more. And you'll be fine. Sure, you might miss, like, 5% of your... More of your shots, but, like... 
That wasn't bad. Okay. They take. Nice. I like that. You want to know why? Because you mitigated damage by... Or healing by doing... You mitigated the need for healing by doing damage. There you go. That was good. Now they die. Whatever. You walk away. Go next. You heal the Rhine. Oh, but now you're like, shit. The, the Moira is getting after me. So you go right side. I don't think you need the... Well, actually, the jump's... The jump's good there. Because it, Cause it dis makes her look at me. Yeah. Not a bad jump. I definitely would do that jump. I just don't think that I do that jump. A lot of the times when I'm playing on stream anymore, I don't think I just play. Because if I think too much, it makes me depressed that I'm playing Overwatch. Me too, dude. Anyways, all right. <laughs> yeah, this is a very aggressive position. I, yeah, I so like you're half and you should probably use regen burst if you want to be this aggressive. Like I'm okay with you being this aggressive. Mm -hmm. I think you need to use regen burst. Like... Because you're building window. I think this is a... Being aggressive is fine. Like, you have a ship, though. You should use that. Let's see. Now you're going to use it. How much you want to bet in the next five seconds you're going to use it? No. Huh. You don't have the same problem I do. I use shift like it's... uh, Like it's... uh, I don't know. I do that, too. But sometimes I don't. And so... Oh. That's very oh. Here's the thing. I don't think you can pot like let's just take it back so if your support's gonna watch this there's just a lot of problems with this beat <laughs> yeah. oh my oh my that was such a panic beat like dude you're just fucked don't even press Q I really hope he died or died before it casted but never mind he didn't he, yeah. I don't think it casts um, cause like he gets shot. Yeah. Here's the thing. I get the re here's the thing. Like if he lives the, if he lives, he gets a beat and he's fine. I think the immobile idea is okay though. It was just kind of like this whole moment. is just like, we're yeah. okay. I'm not okay. Wow. Life fucking sucks. Okay. I'm dead. Get in here. Yeah. That was just really bad. And yeah, okay, now like here's the here's the moment where you should look at this and say, hmm, they used four alts. I maybe should back up. Let's see what you do. Currently, two seconds prior, you were walking in. Now you're walk uh, nope, you're still here. So here's the thing, if their team was good, they'd be pushing the shit out of you and you're dead. But now this like this Lucio has the right idea, but his team isn't with him. And like you were really like, I think it's okay to be aggressive before when it's just the Rhine and they haven't used any alts and like your team's coming back and they don't have that space and you want to be aggressive. Like I think where you were was fine. I think now where you were was that can it can be considered reckless. Cause cause they they should be like if they beat they coom they fucking dragoned they fucking code for like 20 seconds ago or what 10 seconds ago your ass needs to be backpedaling because they they want to push because there is nothing stopping that train and ultimately yeah you guys probably lose this fight I'm trying to fuck the line up yeah one bad thing led to a next to the next but let's go next uh, project what's going on you're good. So, biggest issue right now, you're saying, is movement, or one of the biggest issues is my movement? Um, movement and rotation with positioning. Like, it all rotation. goes around, like, it's it's related, but not the same. Okay. Like, sure, rotations could be considered movement, but it's a different kind of movement. Like, um, you're strafing, non-existent, um... It's just like if, if I were to get into a 1v1 with you and I never touched a mouse before, as long as I got like onto your head, like crosshair placement wise, like, oh, yeah, I win. Like, I don't really have to do any hard aiming. Um, so, like, if, if a CSGO player is against you, they're just going to win. I mean, every time. They don't even have to be good. Like... That, that's the problem here like the thing with overwatch is is that it's very movement heavy right yeah you, you, that, that makes sense to you 
yeah. I'm sure it does. You're, you're not stupid. And I don't think anyone else that plays the game is stupid. Uh, it's very heavily movement based. So like strafing, you can abuse that. It's, it's the hardest game to aim in because of how fast shit moves and how many particles are flying around. So like you got to abuse that to make it like really hard to hit you. It's not as much as as a support. It's not as much as you hitting them. I mean, at the highest levels, yes. But at, at, at any level that's below top 500, it's not about as much as you hitting them. It's more about you not getting hit by them and living. And right now you're making it very easy to get hit, but you're also hitting them. But you have to make it harder to hit you. That's what this whole movement-based shooter is. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in like Valorant and CSGO, it's not even aim. It's just like, Make sure that you have your crosshair on where you think they're going to be and then click faster. Yep. It's it's very different, very polar opposites. It's why a lot of Overwatch players don't like Valorant. A lot of Valorant players don't like Overwatch because it's it's the different sides of the spectrum. Um, let me get this one text out of the way. Uh, You're good. Take your time. I'm not in a rush yet, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go. All better. 19 minutes to finish how many more of the game? Eight, roughly eight minutes. Okay. We see a problem here yeah. that you did last time. Here's the thing. Ryan took more damage this time, which I, I understand. I just think you didn't need as many nades. Um, let's take it back, though, because, like, holy shit, you guys, you guys are already dead. Like, I, I'm just, like, talking about how many more minutes we have. I'm already dying. Okay. okay so like here's the problem you're gonna run out of ammo and then your ryan's gonna blow the fuck up meanwhile you only need like maybe one or two nades and then you could have reloaded you used nine going on 10 here and your ryan's about to die i think am i correct uh, you have to I'm use an ammo you have to use an ammo because you don't have the the ammo the immortality because you don't have the ammo to heal that because I don't think you need the ammo there. I think you're fine to heal. Mm -hmm. And your vine is still big dick energy. Where was this earlier? I, you told me that. <laughs> yeah, so like here's the thing. While your team didn't play at their best, if you played at your best and had the resources to push there, you probably would have won that fight. It's not quote unquote your fault, but like it kind of is from this perspective because you definitely, yes, you, you yeah. could have carried by just like being like just being existent because in all reality, you really weren't existent this fight because you didn't have your resources. Like you just didn't have anything when the fight started. Um, the rotation though with your team was good. You weren't as aggressive. I mean, it's very hard to be super aggressive there without literally killing yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but the resource management wasn't the best. Somehow you guys still pull through, which is a freaking miracle. Um, but know that in higher lobbies or in your grand finals game, that that's not going to fly. And here's the thing, it's it's not one of those things where I can be like, oh yeah, just like do it, lol. And then like you just think about it overnight and then you automatically improve. Like some stuff in Overwatch, like rotations and stuff, if you just think and you like look at maps, you'll get better at it. Like the stuff I'm giving you, it's like stuff you're, I hate to say it, you're going to have to play the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it, dude. Um, you have to play the game to learn this shit. You need me to put effort in too? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Terrible. so... <laughs> nah, you're fine. As long as your team knows that you're on point, that's cool. Yeah, I call that out every time. That's yeah. I think it's good here though because then like speed, it's the whole idea of like now speed equals healing because if you can just kite them out or push into them, it really goes either way. It depends on the map, but I think Lucio there is going forward is fine. So here's the thing, right? I don't know if you're looking at your phone or something. But, like, you never know if TTV Andy is waiting to get his new punter clip by, like, sitting on the rhino and is just going to dome you. So you got to always be moving. Okay? Yeah. 
whenever like, I'm just on kind of I just turn up my audio and try to focus on something specific, like holding tab and just looking at all. And if I hear something, I just react to that. So, um, yep, that's what I was gonna say. Window the corner, that's good. Oh, why did your team ult so much? What do you need to? Good aim almost though. You can almost kill that Moira. Holy shit. Yeah. That was good. That's what I would have done. Okay. Not bad. Still, you should be moving here. I understand that you, sh you might be tabbing, but you can move while you tab. Yeah. It's all second nature to me. At this point, it took some time for me to learn when I first moved, but it's, it's doable. Didn't need the left shift, but whatever. Um. Hey, man. I don't know if you know this, but your healing grenades do not do damage to the enemy team. It only <laughs> heals your team. It's not like Final Fantasy where you can cast a spell and it's like, or when they're like undead and like you can use Kuraga to like one tap them because you do so much fucking damage as a white mage or something for heals. It's not like that. Just yeah. wanted to let you, make sure you know that is not yet in the game. Maybe that's the next support where all ammo is just one. Wait, that's uh, that's Ana. My bad. I was tossing my anti with my right click. Right now. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't think you want to heal the enemy, Ryan. I think you want to damage him. Yeah, no, just I, agree. I I do that because <laughs> my reaction to that is terrible. We'll just get better reaction. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> Super easy. Yeah, you guys probably lose that. Cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, so like, here's the thing. The real reason you lost that is because your team used like four alts the last fight, and then they had all six. Uh, yeah. whatever. You could have played better, but I'm just not. And it's for the sake of time, we have 10 mi 13 minutes left for five more minutes of the game. Which, honestly, you guys probably lose if it went that long. But don't tell me. Okay. I don't want spoilers. Okay, if your team's going to play this far and your Ryan's going to shield, I would poke for MO. Or poke, poke for window. Did I say that? Or did I say MO? You said MO, but I, I poke for window. I knew yeah. what you were saying. For all, yeah. it, it all sounds the same. All right, so you hear they're going under. Your Ryan is dented, so tell your team, hey, they're going under. Yeah. Why? Why? Because uh, your junk question. literally could have carried. Yeah, whatever. I, I couldn't tell you. I knew they were going under, but I just wanted to make sure I was You clicked. left clicked after the Kree stunned. Holy shit. And then you killed him, and then the Kree didn't need heals. Good shit. All right, keep it going. Proud you guys me. honestly win the fight now. Right? Yeah, yeah, we did, we did. Yeah. I, had to, I had to yell at them to drop a bit, but they were just, and then they dodge out of him. Okay, I'm, I, I, I really missed everything that just happened there because there's probably a mistake in there, but I'm not gonna. Line of scrimmage, line of scrimmage, line of scrimmage, line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just so that you understand, yeah, this is like a, this is something I've like. It's a tendency you have, like. Yo, team looks like they're getting out here. Oh, well, my team's just going here. I'm safe to go here because that's where I'm in the back line of my team. But, like, then they're like, ha, nah, bitch. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-ass haircut, you get out of diamonds. Yeah. yeah. But, like, look at you. You're just piece of fucking cake. Piece of fucking cake. Piece of fish in a barrel. And then you die. You don't die. Cracked on the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Ross just got hitboxed. All right. Wait, uh, no. Trade, though. No, wait. Do you guys actually lose this? Wait, you guys should actually lose this. Wait. No way. No, you no, threw. No, we, we do. No, nah, bro, you threw. No, I meant you lost this fight. Yeah. No, no, I know. I'm talking about the fight. You and lost so it. Yeah. Wait a minute. You Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought. Yeah, how did you guys lose this fight? Uh, our the Zari was in our backline. Everybody called her, but no, no, no. What, bro, what? I literally told you the reason why you fucking lost this fight, bro. What? Your ass is sitting here. <laughs> okay. You got fucking pummeled, bro. <laughs> you lost the fight for your team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude comprehension my man 
<laughs> Dude, I don't care. That... My team fucking sucks. Bro, your ass just got that. pummeled. Just, there was a Zarya in the back line. Bro, 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 bro. You want to know why there was a Zarya in the back line? Because your ass isn't in the back line. Your ass is right on the line of scrimmage as the quarterback. You want to get fucked up. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hey, keep I moving. I understand my mistake, okay? Now you're hey, on Moira because you can't rotate. God, I bet you're a really good Moira. No, I'm terrible. I don't play this character. I literally copy what I saw you do once. Where I left click and then right click. You actually? Oh no. I don't know if I want to coach your Moira. Dude, don't. I don't stay on this character for long if you skip ahead. Oh, there's so many problems with that. <laughs> oh, man. I will never be playing this character, I promise you. <laughs> this is not a... Here's the thing, I'm so much better at Moira than I am at Bap. Uh, fight the opposite for me. Okay, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I never... Oh, God, no. Wait, is it... Do you play it for the rest of the game? Oh, I think I switch after... Co? Yeah. Build you. Dude, I could make you the best Moira on the, on the East Coast. I don't think that'd be very difficult. I just want to name him in Whoa, 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 brother, brother! We we win. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not even gonna freaking ask. I'm not even gonna. I'm not. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, if I if I do put this on YouTube, I'm not even gonna touch it. Just know that this is wrong. Impressed. This is wrong. Don't do it. Bad. Bad. Like, oh. <sighs> bro, I, this is my first hour on this character. Wait, actually? Oh shit. That's tragic. I mean, I mean, this hurts. Yeah, bro. What the fuck's going on? Man, no, like this, this is bad, bad, bro. <laughs> First hour, I better switch. Okay, I do. Okay, thank God. <laughs> All right, final fight. Going into this, they have a co. This is not looking good for your team, especially for you. But if you play this right, you win. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're left clicking. You dodge the fire strike. Too many right clicks. Oh, okay. You didn't need to immo that, but it's okay. Because I don't want to information overload you. Paz is dog shit? Yeah, bro. How'd you know? You're so smart. Oh, not even. Oh, it did. Yeah, you guys win the fight then. D d why are they not touching? They know they lose, right? Well, they, they, they group off of them. Oh, I thought it was already over. Okay. Aim gives up the first so much for a second. Okay, you just I, I too many right clicks and you don't need it. Left click that line. Yeah, it's whatever. It's, you get away with it. Uh, a little late on that, okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at this. Yeah. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as like the line scrimmage thing. Okay. You guys won the game! Yeah. So, um But I don't think it was because of me in any way. Sorry, what? I, I just said it. I don't think it was because of me in any way. It's just like my team man should do the right things and clutch at important moments where I so didn't like, do So, like, here's the thing, man. Your aim's not bad. Yeah. If you think and you take what I give you and you really let it marinate, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, like chicken in. Yeah. Just marinate it, yeah. If you let it do that, you can learn from this. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some points to look at. Uh, okay, you're gonna have to look. Bad. Oh yes, yes. Okay, so this is my cutoff point. Let's just go. Yeah, it's my cutoff point, chat. Okay, yeah. step one. Here's the thing. This isn't really anything about BAP. Like everything, I I try to teach as as little to new players that are like trying to improve from like lower whatever mm -hmm. i i try to give them as little tips on that and just learn the game as a whole yeah 
because then you can understand. Like, here's the thing: the the mistakes that you're making positionally were really highlighted on Moira, like really highlighted because yeah. it, like using fade to go in. Like that's the whole idea of like wait, like that's a little. It's just that there's a lot of ideas that if you learn it on BAP, then you go to Moira and that Moira gameplay looks 10 million times better. So, okay. Biggest thing I would say, uh, rotations. Rotations, rotations, rotations. Um, is it rotations, though? Okay, I'm going to say rotations. Okay, that's not a you. Rotations. Uh, a little subscript for that, though. It's not really like hardcore, like rotating with your team and you're straggling behind, which I'm sure will be a problem in the future because everyone has a problem with that because it's really hard to sync up. I think the big thing is rotations in turn of uh, line of scrimmage. I'm just going to say line of scrim yep. dot. Um, because here's the thing. Knowing, like, that is like knowing when you can and cannot rotate. Knowing where you are in terms of where the line is and where you need to be. When you can, like, here's the thing. There, there's a lot of different situations here. There's the situations of, like, the first fight where you were getting taken by Genji and you went in. Like, that, like, you did that. That's one thing that you could have done a little better. The other idea is it was third point. Your team was on the right side and, and you were on the left and you decided to jump through main space to try to get to your team, that is another thing that, like, that needs to get fixed because you should have died there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. A little bit vaguely. You can look back at it. Um, so then the next thing I would say is just movement. Movement, movement, movements. Um, if you're going to play Overwatch, like, here's the thing. I don't know how much this is going to help you. Like, here's the thing. I also want to point out that the stuff I'm giving you is not just Overwatch based. It's not. You can bring this to Apex. You can bring this to Valorant in some sense. You can bring this into Dirty Bomb or Paladins. All of it is the same. Like they're all uh, like sometimes you can't abuse one mechanic more than the other. Like for ex for instance, you being really good at aiming, you can't really abuse it as much as you could in like R6 or Valorant. What you can abuse is your movement mechanics, which you moving back and forth, like just strafes, all that. Um, I'm not really going to write all that stuff out. Uh, if you really want to get better at it, like I give this to everyone. Aim Arena, half an hour a day, helped me out a lot. Thing is, if you're not really determined to do that, or if you want something more fun, try hard FFA. I'll write that down. Um, try hard... Try hard FFA is also something that's really good. You're also going to see a lot of tier three players in there. So you're going to be playing against good guys, good, good players in try hard FFA. So you can't just rely on your aim. You have to be able to move. And when you die, it's either your aim wasn't good enough or on par or your, aim, your movement wasn't or both. Um, and then third, do I have anything for third? Was there anything else that I really harked you on you? I mean, sure. Your windows could be better. Oh, I know resource management. I'm just going to say resources. Um, the thing is, is that it's really hard to coach you on BAP when these things are like existent because uh, like you don't allow yourself to use abilities correctly if your rotations and your movement isn't right. You know, it's very hard for me to say, oh, well, you you didn't really need to do that. But the thing is, it's like you got in that situation because your rotations were bad or because your movement wasn't on par or all that thing is something i can do is when you are rotating and you're using 12 shots or 10 10 nades before the fight starts that is going to make you use other resources when and, and then i can't really coach it because it all was because of this underlying factor here that makes sense though yeah uh, is there anything else question wise that you have no not particularly um is there anything you want to plug just in the case that I do make this a YouTube video? Anything you want to do? Anything you want to say hi to your mom or something? I don't know. Hi, YouTube. How you doing? No, I don't know. 
Okay. Make sure well, to subscribe to Pass Swagger on Twitch. <laughs> EP4 slash Pass Swagger. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. All right. Well, that's <laughs> the end of the VOD review. Uh, I'm going to then get with Shocker. Um, if you got, if this does go to YouTube, guys, I really appreciate you for watching. Uh, please do like. Please do subscribe. I, I really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel out a ton. But until next time, I got peace out and Paz out. I'll see you in the next one.